Hey, welcome back to Around the Globe. And today we will be talking about a river that is a person. Te Awa Upa is a river in New Zealand that has been given personality after the New Zealand Parliament passed a bill on August 30th, 2012. And on March 15, 2017, a relevant settlement was passed after a 170 year long court battle between the Muri people and the government of New Zealand. The nation's parliament passed a bill to allow Wanganian River, also known as Chi Awa Upa by the Muri people, to represent its own interest and advocate on its own behalf. So, how will the river represent its own interest? It's not like a river can talk or write messages. Well, it will be representing its interest by two individuals, one appointed by the Mori community or EV and the other by the government of New Zealand. Chris Fallonson, New Zealand's Attorney General, said, I know some people will say it is pretty strange to give a natural resource a legal personality, but it's no stranger than a family trust or companies or incorporated societies. The approach of granting legal personality to a river is unique. Te Awa Upa will have its own legal identity with all the corresponding rights, duties, liabilities of a legal person. So, why exactly was the river given personality? Evie have been fighting to get Te Awa Upa recognized since 1870s. The Evie recognized the river as part of the living mountains and sea. Muri legend explained the formation of the river in Mount Trianchi legend, when Mount Trianchi left the central plateau for the coast. The land was split open and the river filled the reef. According to Muri tradition, river was first explored by Tamate, one of the leaders of the original migration to the new land, who travelled up the river to Lake Chupa. Many places along the river are named after him. The river was also an important communication route to the North Central Island and was the most densely populated area before the Europeans arrived to the island. After the arrival of the European area around the mouth of the river became major trading post. Though the river was always and still remain significant route to the interior of the northern island. The river is also of special and spiritual influence to the Mori people, who also refer to it as Chi Awa Upa. It was home to majority of Mori people before the European colonization reason why it's referred to as Tonga, a special treasure. The river has become one of the most fiercely contested religion in the country. So, do you guys think Te Awa Upa should be a natural person? Or should it be just another river? And which natural resource would you like to get per sanity next? Make sure to let me know in the comment section down below how you would like sun to become a natural person and see T our upas taxes and email thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe i'll see you next time till then have a nice day